Did you have troubles aligning pictures in a web page? Well, in this video, I will demonstrate to you how to align pictures in parallel in a web page using CSS. Let me start using the previous example. Here, we have only one picture in the page. What do we do is to add another picture. I already demonstrated to you how to add an image in a web page using HTML in the previous video. If you like to see, I have the link below. So here is the previous page with one image. If we check the image folder, we have here the two pictures. And we would like to insert the second picture in the page using this HTML code. Just copy the previous code and paste it. Then change the uh, file name. Then save the changes and try to refresh the page. And now this is the output. To align these two pictures in parallel, we have to wrap it up each image by div tag. We have the open and close tab. And add attribute by defining the ID. Take note that the ID should be unique. So the first image, we have to name it as house1. And the second, house2. So this unique name has to do with the CSS code later. Don't forget to save the file. Now is the time to open the CSS file. Then we have to use the ID name as selector, the house one. Inside is the plot property. Set the value to left. This property and value allows the image to float from the left side of the page. Then the second selector, the house. Two. Take note that if we use an ID selector, it must begin with hash or a sharp character, followed by the ID. Again, we have to use the plot property with the value right. Save the file and we have to try to refresh the page and as you can see the two pictures are now aligned horizontally. Let us put some spacing here to the left and the right of the image. So we're going to put the spacing and a section selector. So I'm going to use the padding property, padding left with a value of 120 px or pixel, then padding to the right with a value with a same value 120 px then let us try to uh, save the file then refresh the page and there is now the final output we have the space from the right and left so that's it for this video thank you for watching